All right, very well done. Go collect your award you. and your cash check. Thanks. He will receive rupees 460,000 rupees from the CEO of Sri Lanka Cricket, Mr. Ashley De Silva. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can I now invite Honorable State Minister, Mr. D.B. Chanaka, State Minister of Aviation and uh, Tourism to give away the next award, which is the Emerging Player of the Tournament. And he will receive a check of uh, rupees 370,000. And it goes to the man from Gold Gladiators, Dhananjay Lakshan. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's now one of the big awards this evening. Well, it's the player of the tournament. He's been an outstanding player, and I can tell you that uh, he's impressed everybody. He's sometimes been unplayable. He's been good with the ball, with the bat, and also outstanding in the field. And today's player of the tournament of this My 11 Circle Lanka Premier League is from Jaffna Stallions. It goes to Wanidu Hasaranga. Right, one of those with us, and we're going to have some help. I'm going to ask you in English. You cannot speak in Sinhalese. We'll have an interpretation. First and foremost, what are your thoughts about the tournament? After my goodak sathu tui, mulimma ki annon meva ke tournament ke ak organize karuve gata SLC ye gata. Anitte ke goodak sathu tui meva ke taranga valiye ke palamu taranga valiye Sri Lanka payat tene din meke taranga valiye viraya unke na goodak sathu. Uh, Vanindu says that he's very happy to play in this tournament and he's very thankful to Sri Lanka cricket who organized this tournament brilliantly and to play in the first inaugural LPL is a great honor and to win the tournament is a even greater honor. Yeah, can we know what is anything new that you learned playing in this tournament? Oh, at the tournament, Krida kerat di godak dewa lagi nak kan? Ikat dia kan? Nampak godak dewa lagi tin. Mama godak dewa lagi nak kan? Tapi loko players lah tak kaga hati. Mereka kita orang kawal dia ke pressure kat kena orang nam boleh kena itu orang nama piti karu ekte tin. Mang puluhan taram belui godak hari dewa lagi kerana tin mahi tina ekai godak lesi uneh mata meh word dekan. As per one Hindu, he learned quite a lot by playing along with the senior players and he made sure that he did the right things by listening to them and that's how he played the game and the tournament. A word about the dressing room atmosphere, the experience you had there? Oh, I was a coach of Tilna Kandambi, I was a captain of Reti Sera Pereira, I think Shoaib Malik, Johnson Charles, I was a local player, I was a local player, Ayala, Ayala, Kiana Deval, Godak Pelawa, Tahari, Muka Deyala, Godak Cricket, Bala Diya, Nai Tin, E Deval, Lekka Godak Lesi, Apita Apa Indo Pu Players Lah, Tekka Me Wagi, Taranga Wali, Ek Me Hundin Krida Karan, Nai Tin, Mai Tin, Nai Eka, Apa Lesi, En Jack Grahan Eka Regi. Having the likes of Coach Tilina Kandambi and the Captain Tisra Pereira, and Shoaib Malik and Johnson Charles was a great honour. And most of the time, or all the time, they were right because they have got quite a lot of experience in playing this sort of cricket. And that helped me a lot to play the tournament and win it. Vanidu, congratulations. Thank you for the entertainment. Go collect your check of 1,850,000. It will be given away by Mr. Shami Silva, the president of Sri Lanka Cricket. Right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Cycle Pio Agarbati Fair Play Award. It will be given away by Mr. Anil Mohan, founder, chairman of the IPG Group. And the winner is Dambul the Viking. Can I ask Mr. Satish Salvi, the COO, to collect it? And he will receive a check of rupees 460,000. It's time now to talk to the losing captain of Gold Gladiators, Banu Karaja Paksa. How tough was it? 
um, see, need to praise Lord for the journey that we have come through all this way. Uh, it, it, see, it's tough to always be on the losing side, but I think credit goes to the boys, the way that they showed character uh, when we initially lost a couple of games to come to semi-finals. But uh, it's been a collective effort from the boys for us to come to the finals. It's sad, but you know, credit goes to the Stallions, the way that they've been performing through the uh, tournament. Yeah, you want the, you wanted to feel, that's true, but from, from the start, things didn't seem to go right. Because even with the bowlers, they didn't get off to a good start. You got injured or, or at least had an injury and then your prolific batsman getting run out. So you think uh, Robert the Green was against you? Um, see, we can't blame anything uh, or anyone. It's just that, you know, we had a bad day and the uh, Stallions played a uh, brilliant record too. We I mean, the bowlers, I think, uh, can't put the blame on anyone. Just as I said, uh, probably we would have given about, we would have considered about 20, 25 runs on the field, which we didn't do in the games that we won. Uh, I think it was a, you know, it was a big task to score 190 against a, uh, against a side like um, Stallions. But, you know, uh, we fought well in the beginning uh, after losing three wickets. And uh, my injury was, you know, uh, it cost for the team. But hopefully, you know, next, as, as always another year, we could uh, bounce back. Yeah, that's the spirit. Let's now talk about some positives. Tell me about the positives you might like to carry back with you. See, I think it's a great uh, find for Sri Lanka cricket, uh, uh, Dhananjay Lakshan. He's a young, uh, exciting prospect, uh, as well as, you know, uh, and, um, we're very fortunate to play among, you know, all these youngsters. And uh, the journey that we came, I think we didn't, we, we didn't have an icon player or a marquee player, but still as a unit, as a young unit, I think we have come a long way. So we had to be very proud of what we have achieved so far. Uh, you know, a lot of youngsters coming up through LPL, I think... Uh,